I'm extremely upset that this situation happened because as a filmmaker, I have solidarity with other filmmakers from around the world, including my own Armenian fellow filmmakers, both here in Armenia and in the diaspora. You suffer and you struggle to get independent films made, hoping that you can find an audience. And this festival has been a wellspring to create a, a programs to show the diaspora films, the Armenian films, to create a genuine effort at preserving the evolving culture of Armenian cinema and cinematography. So for me, what still is completely foreign and I find morally reprehensible is when a festival programs 37 films to be screened at a screening venue, why would the screening venue at the last minute, knowing that these films are going to be taking place, last minute ambush and completely derail a film festival's program by telling the festival you have to remove two films, both of which deal with LGBT and trans themes and let the other 35 go on. So this to me is an ambush. This to me is morally reprehensible because I've never in my life ever heard of such a scenario. These people committed to giving Golden Apricot the screening room to screen these films for free to their credit. So why would you at the last minute when a festival is about to explode and there's 10 million things going on with any festival any given moment, why is this last minute disgrace supposed to happen? So I've been very upset, but I've been very inspired by the films and the filmmakers here. But I'm deeply sorry for all these filmmakers that didn't get to screen their films. Whether their films I like or not is irrelevant. This is about freedom of speech. But I'll ask you this much. For 14 years this festival has screened some of the most controversial films in the world, dealing with these very same films. Why now? Why this year? Maybe we need to be asking different questions to understand what the root of this problem is. Because I don't understand how a union of cinematographers could place that demand on a festival, basically saying, I'm going to censor you, so please remove these two films or else we're cancelling the others. So, I don't think it's correct to put the blame entirely on Golden Apricot. It's not Golden Apricot's fault. I think this is symptomatic more of a much deeper problem. I think this is not just having to do with these two films. I think this has to do with a society that is not able yet to accept that these are themes that are relevant to modern day Armenian society, they're relevant to the global dialogue. And it's more symptomatic of something that I'm much more afraid of nowadays, is that we have, we have become tragically, a militarized nation. We have become militarized because we need to be militarized to protect our borders and our culture and our people. But we cannot become militarized against our own people trying to create culture. So to me, this is a bigger problem that needs to be addressed. This is the dialogue that I feel needs to have much more in-depth discussion about, is who are making these decisions and why are these uh, very clear-cut, last-minute ambushes being made possible at a festival that's attracting world-class people. Yes, every festival has its problems. I'm not saying this festival doesn't. Everybody has their own criticism. I have my own criticism of this festival, of other festivals. The whole idea is to engage and spark debate. The whole idea is to create solidarity between union of filmmakers. The idea is not to... We're a broken enough society as it is. We're a balkanized people in the diaspora as well as in this country. But you cannot blame a festival last minute to be in like why, you know, these films were cancelled. These films were cancelled because it was all for one and one for all or none at all. That's why. Their reputation was tarnished by partners that they went into partnership with who dishonored their agreement at the last minute. So the blame is on the partner, first and foremost. Secondly, I think they should create a platform in a, an, in, in a capacity of within this festival or after the festival to honor these films and filmmakers that were selected, that were then deselected. Because yes, the responsibility is, again, it's not their fault, but it's the responsibility of the festival to make sure that every film gets seen that they've selected. But if the venue that, that they've gone into contract with has dishonored that agreement based on homophobia, best based on censorship, last minute, again, give them a week notice. Guess what? We're not, we're not dealing with your films. We don't like these movies. They're against our whatever fabric that they have to say. Why are you ambushing a festival last minute? That's all I'm asking. And I still have not received any answers. Thank <laughs> you.